We've been hearing a lot today about the importance of improving computer security. As Dan just alluded to, though, it's not just traditional computers that we need to worry about. There are many other kinds of systems as well. The slide that's been omitted uh, showed a result of uh, the researchers at UCSD and the University of Washington hacking into the dashboard display of a typical American sedan, making it show that the car was going 140 miles an hour while in park. Drilling down a little bit, modern vehicles consist of between 30 and 100 embedded control units, which are essentially small computers connected via a CAN bus. These cars are required by law to have a diagnostic port, typically located under the steering wheel, that allows mechanics to download diagnostic information and to perform software updates. In a first paper, the researchers from UCSD and the University of Washington showed that if they could touch the CAN bus through that diagnostic port, they could take over all of the functionality of the car that's controlled by software. And in a modern automobile, that's pretty much everything. The brakes are controlled by software because of anti-lock braking. The acceleration is controlled by software because of cruise control. And in those fancy new cars that can park themselves, even the steering is under software control. The reaction to this first paper was somewhat muted, perhaps because if the researchers had access to that diagnostic port, they were inside the car and so already had physical access to the brakes, acceleration and steering. They responded with a second paper in which they showed a variety of ways of touching that CAN bus without physically touching the car. These attacks involved infecting uh, the computers in the repair shop and then having that inspection infection spread to the car through the diagnostic port or hacking in through the Bluetooth system or using the cell phone network to break in through the telematics unit that's normally used to provide roadside assistance. The most ingenious attack though used the stereo system in the car. The researchers were able to craft an electronic version of a song that played just fine in your home stereo system or on your personal computer. But when you put that on a CD and played it in the car CD player, it took over total control of your automobile. Yeah, right. Pretty scary, huh? These vulnerabilities arise because the cyber components that form the interface of these cars are built from the same kinds of buggy components that are in your personal computers. And the control systems that are actually running the car have no notion that there can be an attacker sitting on the CAN bus.